You invite me in or not? Do I have a choice? It's fine. So where should I put my stuff? Some place out of my way. You know, I don't like this any more than you do. The FBI assigned me to do a job. That's to protect you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that's what I'm going to do, okay? Look, I may be stuck with you living here, but I'm not going to change my lifestyle one bit. I am going to do what I want, when I want. You are just going to guard me without bothering me. Understood? Okay. Then that leaves us two options. Either you can do what I say, or... Or what? Or you can choose not to and end up dead. All right, what kind of trouble could I possibly be in here on the Crane Estate? Well, no offense, but you stink at sensing danger. You thought you were safe in Paris. Wrong. And then you thought you were safe when you came back to Harmony. Wrong again. A Jean-Luc's killer sent assassins thousands of miles to take you out. And when he failed that night at the wharf, he followed you to the Crane family cabin where you thought no one would follow you. So guess what? Come on, say it with me, Sheridan. You were wrong yet again. All right, you've made your point. There's no need to gloat. Who's gloating? I just want you to be safe. Now, I'll do what I can to accommodate your lifestyle and your need for privacy. But some changes need to be made around here for this thing to work. Like what? Well, for one, the sleeping arrangements. Oh, if you think you're going to sleep in my bed... Then... Whoa. Okay, look, I'll sleep on the couch. I just need to know what to do with my bedding when I wake up, okay? Well, don't worry about the place is serviced each morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. My mother comes in and cleans up after you. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to sound cavalier. That's okay. That's your lifestyle. It's her job to come in and clean up after you, and, and it's an honorable one. Now, can you get me my sheets? I just want to get to bed. There are some in the closet. I'm going to get some tea. Would, would you like a cup? No, thanks. Sit yourself. Well, I don't see any sheets in here. You know what time it is? Time to see how much you've grown this year. Step right over here. Okay, step back. Take a look. Wow! Okay, now you know what time it is? Time to make a wish and blow out your candles. Make a big wish. here. My family lived here. So your family threw us out. Wait a minute, did you just say you used to live here? Are you sure? I, 
I can't believe you never mentioned this before. Well, I didn't remember till just now. This memory was so painful, I must have blocked it out. You said you used to live here till we threw you out. Yeah. It's all kind of fuzzy as to when or why, but Papa moved us here when I was little. Your whole family? Yeah. Yeah, and we were happy here. Real happy. Till they told us we had to leave. And then it was get out or be thrown out. Who said that? I don't remember. Alistair or Julian, I guess. Why? I'm trying to remember. They said they were turning the cottage into a playhouse. For you, Sheridan. For when you got back from Paris. Oh, my goodness. I remember now. The only Christmas I was allowed to come home, they brought me here to play, but I never realized that this had been your home. I'm sorry that my family made your family move out. No wonder you hate the crane so much. I just hate how my mother was treated. She lost a man that she loved, and then she was forced to make mortgage payments on her own. But Julian said that the cranes helped Pilar out after Martin disappeared. She got that big bonus, and the bank we own gave her time to get back on her Yeah, face. after they knocked her down in the first place. Okay, don't get me wrong. This cottage does belong to the cranes, and it's their property. They can do what they want with it. But we were forced to move out with no warning and no notice. We had to borrow a friend's truck to move. And then as I got older, I realized that they were responsible for my father's disappearance. It all reeked of a cover-up. I know how you feel, and I understand, believe me, but I still don't think my family had anything to do with your father's disappearance. We'll see. Anyway, right now it's my job to protect you. But I promise you, someday, somehow, I will find out that the cranes were behind Papa's disappearance. And I will make them pay. Every last one of them. I'm sorry, Luis. I, I really am. I, I really had no idea that any of this had happened. That's okay. Hey, I'll manage. I always do. But when the FBI takes me off of this assignment, I'm going to find out what happened to Papa once and for all. Right now, protecting you is my priority. So, well... Uh, Okay, better get some rest. I want to be fresh for tomorrow. I'll get your sheets. Thanks. Look, I'm really sorry that my family made your family move out. It's okay. It was a long time ago. No use of talking about it anymore tonight. Right. I'll go to my room and uh, give you some privacy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you'd already started to undress. I'll, I'll give you fair warning next time. Don't worry about it. This kind of thing's bound to happen with the two of us living here. And have awkward moments. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> awkward moment number two. <laughs> I'll just, uh, get my book and see you in the morning. Good night. Are you gonna say something? Good night, Louise.
You were about to say something else. What was it? 